It's your boy James with the Stop Being Dirty. Stop eating dirty. We either, this is the Trump Chronicles right now. Hold on, listen to that nature though. You hear the water? The birds chirping. Oh, them, them birds might have been arguing. Oh, he's like, shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I'm up here, upstate still, just just enjoying it, man. It's, it's a beautiful time up here. We're doing the, the slip and slide. I got a little outdoor uh, uh, workout in. I'm sick with it. That stool that I usually sit on by the property, I left that shit out last night. Got soaking wet, and it's like a nice countertop stool. I'm a real jerk off for leaving it out, but it is what it is. Who gives a shit? It ain't about the materialistic things in life, man. It's the memories you make. And I'm not just making a good excuse for ruining my chair. It's just like in general, man. It, it ain't about the chain. It ain't about the car. It ain't about none of that, man. It, it, that shit is nice, but at the end of the day, it, it's the it, it's the memories that you make with the people around you, the people you care about. And, and those are the things you're really going to remember. You're not going to remember the bottles you popped. You're going to remember the laughs you had in the club and possibly the girl you took home. But I mean, I, I'm just saying, man, like, don't get too caught up in the materialistic things in life. That doesn't define you. At the end of the day, man make the money. Money, money don't make the man. So T-Rex, my neighbors is out. I can't yell. Oh, my God. So basically, um... There's a crazy announcement going on. See, GTX, right? They have a whole car, but I want to just do this blog real quick on uh, th this this specific battle. You know what I'm saying? This is one that really stuck out to me. Like, like, oh, shit, I'm definitely trying to see that. Um, GTX, man, is like a lot of other things in life. It's not just other battlers or battle rap leagues. It's life, man. Lack of consistency. Lack of consistency. Um, what they've been around what two years now they got less than a handful of events we waited till like 3 a.m 14 hours to see this disaster announcement and it was a a crooked eye battle that never happened i'm not sure if that's the you know what i'm saying um the 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 mystery because they have like a card out where it's like a bunch of faces and then there's like a a blank face like a mysterious you know a question mark face so the whole card is not out that's also why i'm just doing like a specific blow a uh, specific battle that stuck out to me which is the one we're going to talk about today but yeah man gtx they got the um uh, the right production the, the right connections because you know disaster's been in the game long enough probably got all these battlers number and, and lush one you know here he's real mixy in it and, they, and they, you know it's in cali a lot of battlers you know and events are in cali but like we need more events. And don't get me wrong. Like, it's like, she costs money and da da da, da and blah, 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 All I'm saying is you don't want to be like, you know, um, I mean, even the Miss Gracie's League, the name of uh, Gorilla Warfare was more consistent. But, like, you have certain leagues, you know what I'm saying, that didn't, like, Black Ice Cartel. Like, you don't want to be one of those. Like, such a, they were crazy with, crazy with the edits and had so much potential. But the lack of consistency is, like... That plays a huge role. Like, I haven't battled in over a year. But when I battle Cicero, that shit is over a year. But if I get announced that I'm on the next card tomorrow, it isn't so crazy to the people. Like, oh, shit, because you see me so much. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, all jokes aside, like, oh, if you don't care about seeing me or if you care, like, nah, Jim, it's different to seeing you battling. I get all that. What I'm saying is... I never feel like I leave battle rap even though I'm not battling because I'm consistent in putting out blogs and consistently on um, Twitter and, and, and social media and like, you know, I'm, I'm mixy when it comes to staying relevant. So that's what I'm saying. If you're an up and comer league or battler at the end of the day, my advice is do what you got to do to stay more consistent. Even if you're dropping freestyles or music videos on this channel, you know what I'm saying? Like this is the, you have to keep shit consistent or you don't have to listen to a damn thing I'm saying because who the fuck am I? Let's get into it though. T-Rex versus Big K? Bro, bro, come on, man. Like, that's fire, bro. Like, like that's like, first of all, I'm super hyped to see Rex back. This, for me, is low-key a must-win for Rex. And there's a few reasons why. Number one, Rex hasn't been back since the easy... Is, is it easy? 
Did he take one other battle after Easy? I'm not sure if, if Rum Nitty, like that battle will stick out to me at all. I did not like Rum and Rex. I don't know when that shit happened before or after Easy, but I remember his Easy battle last. Maybe Rum was after that. I'm not too sure, but you know, Rex has definitely been away. It seems like almost at least a year, his damn self. And you know, seeing him get his health right, seeing him in the gym, seeing him in interviews talking about what I told you though, what I told you. You see Rex on the gram, in the gym. You see Rex in interviews and hip hop is real 15 minutes of fame. His relevancy in your face is still there even though he's not in the ring. So that's an accidental comparison to give more to the example I was just making as far as keeping yourself out there one way or another. So um, you don't want to be the punch into work, punch out of work type battler or do your thing. But... Okay, uh, so you haven't seen T-Rex in a while Focusing on his health and things of that nature And then you have, you know, the T-Rex in chess I'ma be real with you I'm not mad at that battle Just because for some reason they hyped it up Like, but the sense of that battle Makes none to me I don't see what sense T-Rex and chess make at all Other than they were both on that fight You know, the, the brawl You know, neither one of them did nothing Wait, T-Rex was windmilling a, a, a quart of water And Chess was like Just doing what Chess always does Which is a lot of like Ugly faces But no Anyway So salute to both of them Rock with Chess, Rock with Rex I'm just saying I don't get what What's the point of this battle So, um and it's not happening, you know what I'm saying? Also, I feel like uh, Chess kind of messed that up a little bit. He had like a battle with Tink that was like, like I said, man, it's like, it's another thing, right? And it's almost contradicting because this is making me think of another point. Okay, T-Rex. So, so you want to see Chess and Rex. That would have been ill, but it's not as ill no more now that you've seen Rex and T uh, uh, Tink and Chess and it was, ah, it's like, all right, Chess versus Rex, okay. It's like, so even in that nature, you want, if you have a big battle coming up, stay away, let your hype build up. But this don't apply to a lot of people. New leagues, GTX doesn't apply to you. Up and comers doesn't apply. Like, there's a lot of people, like, if you're at a Rex level, a Chess level, like, nah, stepping back for a minute definitely is a good look. The, the example I was making earlier is about new leagues, new talent, or, or, or think, you, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. So, T-Rex versus Big K, so you haven't seen Rex in a while. The hype was that his comeback battle was going to be against Chess or even Geechee. I still don't like those battles. I don't. But Big K, I really like that battle. Especially, this comes down to another must win for Rex because you can... Is there an argument that Big K beat Mook? I have that battle. Big K beat Mook in the building. I was right there and he beat, beat him on camera. Mook wasn't whack, he just lost. Simple as that. Murder Mook is still a legend. Murder Mook is still a GOAT. Murder Mook is still Mar Rushmore. There's nothing in Murder Mook's career that changes for me other than the fact that on his win-loss record, there's a loss against Big K. So Big K having, you can argue, one of his best years. I mean, the year just started, but the A-Ward battle, bro, super replay value. Murder Mook battle, super replay value. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he's definitely been doing his thing. The street talk, they both have that. T, uh, Big K was taking shots at Rex in their battle. I can imagine that's how this, this, this type of shit gets put together. Um, I feel like it's up to Rex to kind of redeem that loss for Mook. You know what I'm saying? You can't have Big K running around talking about he the king of Harlem if he ends up winning against Murder Mook and T-Rex back to back. You might as well throw K-Shine out there next. And I honestly think that's a crazy battle. I had mentioned if Sean came to RBE that he should battle Big K. That'll be crazy. Who you got winning that battle? Who you got winning Rex versus Chess? Who you got winning Rex versus Geechee? Do you even want to see those battles? Or who you got winning... T-Rex versus Big K. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know real quick. Um, as far as who I have winning this battle, um, hold on. One more thing. I'll, another comment I wanted to give Rex. In his interviews, he was mentioning how he's been staying away because he had to get his breath right. He had to find like his love again. He had to like, he's not going to step in a ring. He's showing love to Chester. He's not going to step in a ring knowing he has to be 100% versus somebody and not give 100%. I really respect that. Coming from a legend like him, Salute to him. But um, as far as this battle goes, it's tough for me, man. 
Everybody knows Big K is one of my favorites. And if you know that, then you know T-Rex is one of my favorites. Both of them are in my top 10. You could debate both of them in my top five to keep it 100 with you. So this for me is a win-win. I hate to have to pick a winner here. But if I had to and break it down into consistency, into what you've given me lately... Right now, Big K is looking unstoppable. But a T-Rex ready to make another run at this after being in the game two decades and all kind of wild DVD era and all that, you can never count Rex out ever, especially in that Cali crowd that want to hear that shit. He kicked that shit. So if Rex got that breath control right, he got because on flows like, yo, this is like they both do their thing. This is a dope, dope battle for me. Personally, I really enjoy this battle. Who you think is going to win it? Let me know what y'all think. Um, which call? We're going to get into the whole card and more. Once they have the whole card out, I'm going to speak on it. But right now, this battle is what stuck out to me. So let me know what y'all think. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Link in the bottom for my Instagram, my Twitter, the Stop Being Dirty merchandise. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Without making change, nothing changes. My obsession is progression. Most importantly, stop being dirty.